Shortly before I start the video guys, I just want to mention that, that I'm going to be giving away 5 banded emotes to you guys. In order to join the giveaway, all you guys have to do is just subscribe, like the video and comment down below. And I'll be announcing the winners in 4 days. Enjoy. Yo what's going on guys, Professor here back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be playing this draw poison deck and I'm currently 2047 with it in the entire world. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like and sub and I'll see you guys in the first match. I'm on the first game here facing VK Rager, Rager. so let's see who's playing, I'm gonna start the game by playing my bomber at the back, so in the deck guys, I'm running this draw poison deck, this draw poison deck is currently the best, I would say the best deck to play in the meta right now, since you guys know draw is super broken, same as the evil bomber, and in the deck, we're running arrows instead of the log. Arrows is super good against the evil bomber and especially against lava hound decks because there's a lot of uh, beatdown decks like lava hound, giant pump, uh, giant pump, and stuff like that. So arrows is basically much much better instead of the log because you can also hit the air troops such as bats, uh, as I said, lava pups. And yeah, you can also take down the evil bomber with it. If your enemy plays it at the bridge, you can just instantly play your arrows. Since you know that the evil bomber just, eh, he doesn't die too long. So yeah. And I'm gonna go for my ghost. Okay, so much aggressive for some reason. That evil bomber is not gonna give him any value. And yeah, we're pretty much okay. Gonna go to real. Okay, he also NATO. He's so low at the elixir. I have no idea how he's gonna defend this. Um... Yeah, as you guys can see, Drill is getting a lot of damage. That Nader was like a really big overcommitment at this end. So, I guess I'm just called a good game, you know, just to feel like the game is over for him. So, gonna go for my Bomber. It's just like a mind game or something. You guys can say like, you guys can call good game in the middle of the match if you want to. Once you get like a lot of damage on top of your opponent's tower, you could just call it a good game. Most of them, most of them are gonna give up because they know that it's like finished. Like, yeah, they cannot come back. But yeah, but yeah, it's still like a really sarcastic way you can call it or whatever. So also, by the way, I'm guys a little bit sick right now. So if my voice uh sounds, if, if I sound a little bit weird. So yeah, that's why, because that's because I'm a little bit sick, but it's fine. Um, Okay, he got, I'm going to air, I want to air that bomber. Okay, I'm going to air it now because he spent like a tree elixir. So air is definitely worth it over there. Gonna go for my evil bomber here. That's gonna get one bounce, two bounce, and three bounce. Perfect. I'm gonna just go for my knight. He doesn't have evil bo Oh, he has evil bomber. Okay, wait. Wait, he cycled back to bomber so quickly. I'm gonna just go for my poison and then... um, Yeah, go for the evil Tesla arrows. I'm pretty sure he cannot break through over here. I'll just go for my knight at the bridge and poison everything. I'm gonna go for my Tesla as well like this. So the golden pumps don't take it out like super fast because if you if you play Tesla on top of the golden pumps, uh, golden pops, golden pops are gonna take down the Tesla super fast. So yeah, it's better to a little bit put it off to the side. And yeah, this is pretty much game over here. So really nice one, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here facing this guy. So can't read his name unfortunately. So let's see who's he playing. Gonna start the game by playing my knight at the back. Playing knight at the back is also pretty much okay play with this deck. So he got Evo Zap. Okay, interesting. Hmm. He got a low prince. So he's either running pack up bridge spam or giant pump. Hopefully it's not giant pump because giant pump is so much annoying deck. It is beatable with this deck. You actually can beat it super easily if you play correct. But sometimes you're gonna get uh you're gonna get you're gonna get placed in a position that you're gonna get forced to play a lot of elixir on defense such as poison arrows and a lot of stuff and you have nothing for the you're gonna have nothing for the pump and your enemy is gonna just go for the pump and get a lot of elixir advantage and just spam everything once again and basically win the game so yeah this deck is super brain dead but yeah let's see and this guy have dog prince as well which makes the things 10 times worse bro why does he have a dog prince uh, I'm just gonna go poison here. Yeah, yeah. as you guys can see in here, I have to go poison, otherwise I cannot defend. And now what is he gonna do is that he's gonna just go for another pump down. And yeah, get like elixir advantage and he's gonna just make a really big push. And yeah, and God knows if I can defend it or not, but yeah, we'll see. So he might go pump. Yeah, there's the pump. I'm gonna just go for my duro and then I'm gonna play my guards at the bridge. This way he's gonna get forced to answer to the guards and to the draw. 
So let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go Dog Prince and he's gonna go Arrows and Gors are not gonna die, get a lot of damage, perfect. So he's down a lot of Elixir now. Uh, I'm pretty sure he cannot make like a really big push going on, even though if he goes like Giant Night Witch at the back and tries to make a push, I'm 100% sure that yeah, he cannot break through because he's he doesn't have that much Elixir advantage that he needs to, okay? Bro, what was that Giant, bro? Like... Like, what is this giant, bro? You guys can see this guy have... These these dudes have, like, literally no brain, bro. They just spam everything. They just put any card that they have in their card cycle, whether it's spell or giant or whatsoever, and then they call it, I don't know, skill or whatsoever. So I have to go for the evil bomb, but that's going to be one bounce perfect, and we got a lot of damage on the right-hand lane tower. Going to go for my evil Tesla, and then I'm going to go Ice Spirit to kite the Dark Prince. And then I'll just go for my knight like this to take care of the dog prince. That little prince on 1 HP is being a little bit annoying, but it's fine. The guards are going to take care of the giant, which is great. I'll just go for my drill. What was that? That was not the best uh, dog prince at this end. He just cycled dog prince at the opposite lane. I got a lot of damage, which is great. I'm going to just go for my poison on that pump. I don't want to I don't want to give let him to get a lot of um, elixir advantage out of that pump, to be honest. Wait, he got Pekka? What? Wait, okay, I'm gonna just go for my draw. He might go, like, Dark Prince. I wanna go for my... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Evil Bomber. It's definitely the, the right play. At least I'm gonna get damage, or yeah, at least I force him to play something. The Dark Prince is gonna die. Pretty sure there's no need for me to answer to that. Because of Dagger Duchess. Because of how broken she is. Gonna go for my guards on top of this uh, Guardian and Pekka. And the bomber should take care. I'm gonna go for my ice spirit as well to kite the pack up backwards. He went for the arrows. Good arrows at the Zen. Uh, can I defend here? I don't think so. Wait, he also went the zap. That was a really nice zap at the Zen. I'm gonna go for my evil bomber. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go arrows as well. Arrows, arrows. Okay, he went for his own arrows. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm so. Oh no, the Tesla is gonna get. Okay, thank God the Tesla didn't get sniped by the low prince. If it did, I would have lost. The game instantly. I'm gonna go for my guards because he spent his ability. He used his ability. I'm gonna go arrows, 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 please. Please. Okay, am I alive? There's no way I'm still alive, bro. Okay, I'm, and I somehow have a lot of damage at the left hand lane of his tower. I don't know why. So I just go for my. Hmm. I just go for my Tesla. Right now it's 3x Elixir, and I'm pretty sure that I can defend. Yeah, all I have to do is just play like solid defense and I'm going to win this game pretty much easily. Uh, okay, I'm kind of scared of this push, not going to lie. I'm going to go poison on defense. And then I'm going to go for my... Hmm. I guess everything is dead at the right hand lane. Wow, that's crazy. I'm going to just go for my guards. I'm going to arrow that bomber. Perfect arrows at my end. Completely calculated. I'll just go for another Tesla to kite the giant. Going to go another drill. I'm going to just keep up the pressure like this because this way... If he spent a lot of elixir on offense, he cannot defend. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, as you guys can see, he spent a lot of elixir and he could have defend that draw. So really nice one right there against Giant Pekka. And I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here facing this guy. Can't read his name unfortunately, so let's see what he's playing. He got pretty good finishes. Uh, like 84 finish on global tournament. I wasn't paying attention to his other finish. So yeah, he should be a pretty good player. I'm going to just go for my arrows on top of his bomber to take care of it. And I'm going to go for my... Hmm, okay, I want to go for my knight, but he went phoenix. So there's no need to go knight in front of the bomber. I can just go knight to the back. The phoenix is going to die to my tower. Whoa, bro, chill back. I'm going to just go for my drill and then I'm going to go guards as well. This way he's going to get forced to answer to the drill. Otherwise he's going to lose his tower. Perfect. I can also play my bomber on top of that knight, but okay, the knight is gonna die anyway. The gores are gonna get a lot of damage. Look at the gores. Yeah, the tower is basically out of daggers, and the gores are gonna get a lot of chip. Not chip, a lot of damage. I can just go for my poison and then bomber. The bomber is gonna splash on top of the witch, which is great. And then I'll go ice spirit. Oh no, the ice spirit jump on the wrong thing, bro. Okay, are you kidding me? The <laughs> The baby dragon is going to get a lot of damage. I'm going to go for my knight in front of the bomber. He's going to go for his own bomber. Yeah, smart decision at this end. Smart choice. So, uh, okay, you got the king's activation, which is going to make the things a little bit bad for me. Because I'm not going to get a lot of damage from my draw. 
uh, once he's gonna go like a big, once he's gonna go like golem at the opposite lane, for example, and he's gonna just spam everything. And when I go for like the row to you know get damage on his tower, he's gonna just basically counter it with like a knight or bomb or something super easily. I'm not gonna get a lot of damage because of the king's activation. So hmm. The guards are gonna get some damage. Okay, never mind. They're not gonna get any damage. You went golem at the back. Uh, I guess I'll just wait, and I'm gonna go for my Tesla at ten. Okay, I don't think I don't know if he has lightning. If he has lightning, then it's gonna be a little bit difficult to win this matchup. But if he don't have lightning, if he doesn't, if he doesn't have lightning, it's gonna be pretty much easy to win this one. This matchup. Gonna go arrows on top of that bomber. Good arrows value. Uh, wait. I'll go poison. Wait, I guess the poison was the wrong choice, bro. Why did I poison that? Okay, wait, fine. Um, uh, the baby dragon is still chipping down, which is so bad. And the golem pops around the tower, getting a lot of damage. Okay, this is not looking good. Uh, I guess I'll go for my Tesla. Okay, he's gonna go golem again, bro. I cannot go for my draw because I'm not gonna get any value. Because he's got the king's activation, as I said. And the baby dragon's on my tower once again, not getting targeted by the Tesla. Wait, the bomber's gonna get one splash, two splash. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. We won, we won, we won, we won, we won, guys. We won because of the evil bomber, bro. Wait, all I have to do is just defend this, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna go Tesla like this off to the side, so I'm gonna be like 100% sure that the baby dragon is gonna get targeted. Wait, that golem lost in the game. I don't know what was that golem. Yeah, he doesn't have any elixir, so really nice him right there, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the last game here facing VHL187 haha <laughs> XD what a name bro okay he sent a good luck we'll just send him some like to show you know to spread some positive energy you know some I don't know you guys know what I mean so whatever I don't want to explain anything else okay he has Mega Minion and he got the Skeleton Dragons it's gonna be Lava Hound 100% it's gonna be Lava Hound there's like nothing else that runs these two cards together so okay i don't know why today but every single deck that i faced was <laughs> beat down decks gonna go for my arrows i'm gonna be ready with my arrows not gonna go for them because you might have bomber so i just go for my own bomber i'm gonna go for my draw because he's gonna get forced to play something so this way he cannot go like a lava push bro he went for the fireball okay I don't know why he did fireball that. Like, he could have just go for, like, Mega Minion on top of that. And, yeah, take care of it. But, I don't know. He knows better, I guess. So, I'll just go for the Knight at the back. He might go Lava Hound. If he does, I'm going to just go for my Gorge on, at the back of my Knight to push it forward to the tower. And get some nice damage. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just go for my... I want to poison those skeleton dragons. But I want to keep my poison on defense. Because he might go balloon. And then I need the poison on top of the balloon. I'm going to go for my ice spear like this. To stun everything. Okay, he went for the balloon at the middle. Which is quite smart at his end. I'll just go for my drill like this. For the balloon and then arrow everything. And okay. Perfect defense over there overall. We did quite nice. We did quite good. And yeah, all you guys have to do against a Lava Hound is that do not get overwhelmed at 1x Elixir. And do, and I'll try your best not to let them go for the Lava Hound and 1x Elixir. Because most of the time you're going to lose at, at their first push. If you can defend, if you can survive their first push and the, and the 1x Elixir, you're going to win the game easily in 2x Elixir. So I'm going to go for my Ice Spirit at the back. And then I'm going to just go for my knight for the mega minion. I'm going to wait for a little bit for the... Uh, okay, I'm going to poison anyway because of the lava pups. And then I'll just go for my evil tesla. Wait, evil tesla is going to be so satisfying. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Take care of all of the evil pups instead of just except one of them. Which is quite okay. I'll just go for my draw and then ice spirit for the mega minion to cut it backwards. And, okay, I went for the Valkyrie, wait, I'm gonna go Knight, and then I'm gonna go Bomber, he has to Fireball this, any, <laughs> that, yeah, again. Yeah, he went for the Fireball and Tombstone, that was 7 Elixir, not the best play at his end, I'm just gonna go for my Gorse, and then I'm gonna go Duro, gonna go for the Ice Spirit as well, and then, I'll go for the Knight too, because, yeah, I have to spam everything, wait, what, he's already back to the Valkyrie, wait, he cycled? Tombstone, Fireball, and, and Skeleton Dragons. How is he already back to the Valkyrie? 
If I don't be wrong, he also cycled a zap, but I don't know. I'm gonna just spam everything. He went for the Lava Hound at the back. Not the best Lava Hound at this end, to be honest. I'm gonna just spam everything. He cannot defend this, and that's GG. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.